I got interested in the field of special education and more specifically parent advocacy because I have a brother named Ryan and he has Down syndrome. And my parents, when Ryan was younger, had um, a tough time working with the school system, trying to make sure that Ryan got appropriate services and did a lot of parent advocacy. And so growing up, I kind of saw that within the school system, but also them advocating for other families, as well as advocating on the legislative level to really create systemic change for parents of kids with disabilities. And that's really what kind of influenced my reason to go into special ed and also my research interests in parent advocacy. There are lots of challenges in trying to make sure that kids get appropriate services, both on the parent side and on the school side. So on the parent side, it's definitely lack of knowledge, not knowing that you can advocate, not knowing what you can ask for, not knowing what's available, um, just really not knowing what services are out there and what your child's entitled to. On the school side, it can be hard because the school, while they're trying to think of this individual child, the school also has other children that they have to serve. And there's also some funding pieces to it as well that some of these services can be very expensive. And especially in the current economic climate, it can be really hard for schools to provide those services. So I think that's where you kind of, you have the parents coming from one side and the school front coming from another side, and they just sometimes have a really hard time making sure kids get appropriate services. My research is about primarily about something called the Volunteer Advocacy Project. So that's a project that I developed with the support of the Vanderbilt Kennedy Center, which is where I did my um, grad school work. And so it's a 40-hour training about special education policy and advocacy skills, really trying to equip people who are mainly parents to say, here's you know the law, here's what you're entitled to, here's to go about asking for services, and here's how to do that for other families. So we kind of looked at the basic level, how does that project influence the parents who go through it? And we found that parents have increased knowledge and they have increased comfort levels in advocating for other kids with disabilities. And we've also found that out of the almost 300 people who have graduated from the project now, that they have gone on to advocate for at least one other family of a kid with a disability. So we're seeing this kind of pay it forward effect. We know that Spanish-speaking families face even greater barriers in trying to advocate for services. We also know that families of kids with autism face greater barriers in trying to advocate for services. So really looking at this subset of the population and saying, how can we equip these parents who are facing really unique barriers and make sure they can help other families get the services that kids with disabilities need? There are a couple reasons why I came to the College of Education at the University of Illinois. One is I'm from Chicago originally, and so I know the Parent Training and Information Center is here pretty well. So the Family Resource Center and Disabilities serves the Chicagoland area. Family Matters serves the central and southern part of the state. So it was nice kind of already bridge that I had to build up research and to say, I already know these people, they already know me, and we already have this collaborative partnership, and we can kind of move on from there versus building that from the ground up. But um, why I wanted to be here specifically is the College of Education has wonderful scholars who do really important work and who are very um, welcoming and open to talking to you about different ways to expand your research, to push it further, to thinking of how you can collaborate with one another. I've reached out to many people since coming here and saying, you know, you do this and it might seem unrelated to what I do, but I think there's a way to kind of combine it. And so I think people have been really open to that and that's definitely what I was looking for. Um, but also to coming to the central and southern part of the state, you know, these families also face different barriers than other families face being in more rural settings. And so that's another population to explore. And being here, I have the resources and, you know, the proximity to be able to do that. My whole line of research is, is a real world project. It's very much on the ground. And from a research standpoint, it can be very messy. But, you know, this is millions of parents face these issues, right? And so I think it's really important to be on the ground and be rooted on what they're experiencing and to be working with those agencies who have been doing this for a long time and say, how can we kind of work together to make sure we're showing the effects of advocacy, operationalizing advocacy from a research standpoint, but also really, you know, trying to take it to the next level and thinking, how can we support these families better?